guys, what is up? It's Michelle, welcome to my channel, and today I have a little new setup over here, because today we're actually going to be trying out some cool science experiments, and we're going to see if they work or not. I actually started a series a long time ago, it's called a DIY with Shelly, we're going to try out like lots of cool Pinterest DIYs, and you guys are going to send me Pinterest DIYs and request me to do them, and I'll try and see if they would work. Welcome to a DIY with Shelly, and if you guys are following me on my Instagram or Twitter or Snapchat, you guys you guys probably know that I dyed my hair purple. It doesn't look purple anymore, so that kind of is disappointing. And here's a picture of what it used to look like. So let's just hop right into my laptop and see oh, some cool Pinterest science experience. Oopsies. <laughs> and the first thing that I see is like shaving cream rain clouds. Um, I don't know. So let's go get that stuff. So for this Pinterest DIY for like shaving cream rain clouds, we're gonna need some water. There's some shaving cream, of course. And also some food coloring, so let's go try and see if this works. Got my shaving cream, gonna shake this baby up. Shake it up, shake it up. Okay, so we have this shaken up, and then we're just gonna pop this baby into the water and see how this works. Make it look like a cloud. Ooh. It looks like whipped cream. Take some food coloring, and then I think we just drop it into it. Let's see if that goes in there. I'm gonna try putting the food coloring into some water in here. Honestly, this DIY doesn't really do anything. I so I'm gonna give this a thumbs down because it's boring and it's not cool and I don't think kids would think this is cool either because I don't think it's cool. I don't know, maybe someone will think it's cool. I don't know. Well, this is a DIY Pinterest fail. So let's just try the next DIY Pinterest experiment. DIY sidewalk chalk paint. This is not really a science experiment. It's just kind of DIY, but it looks cool, so I might as well try it. Well, let's make this DIY. Let's just get started. So obviously we're gonna need a, a little plastic container. Ooh, that was a little plastic container. Some H2O water, some cornstarch. And uh, some like a washable dye, or you can also do some food coloring. So let's just try this one. So for this, I'm, you have to do like an equal ratio of water and some cornstarch. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Oh, let's just put a little bit of the food coloring in there. It's really clumpy. I think this is pretty good. I'll show you guys, here's what it looks like. It's still a little clumpy, but I think it'll work because it's just chalk to go outside and see how this works. So I'm obviously outside, and right now we're gonna test out the cool little chalk mix that we made, and we're gonna see if it works, so let's teleport to my ground. I mean, it definitely works. So for this next science experiment, I thought we should do something, oopsies, that, can you not? I thought we should do something that would explode, that would, that would explode and make a huge mess, and why not, probably not a huge mess, but like explode like an actual science experiment. So for this uh, next day, why it's a baking a soda explosion science experiment with vinegar, 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 whatever. So let's get started and make this baking soda plastic bag thing explode. For this experiment, we're gonna need one fourth cup of water, your normal H2O. We're gonna need some vinegar, oh holy crap, this is huge. Some baking soda, of course, and a tissue, a normal Ziploc bag. So let's go see if this, whoops, this works, and we're gonna go test it outside. I think it goes a half, yeah, we need a half a cup of vinegar. It smells like a booty hole. Mm, perfect. Oh, okay, I have a candy in my mouth. We're gonna put it in here. Half a cup of that, and then we need to get some of our baking powder, soda, whatever. And we gotta take that tissue, and we have to put three tablespoons of the baking soda in there. Oh, there's a bird. Come out, come out. Oh. Oopsies. No, don't fly away. No. And I'm putting it on the tissue, and we need two more. Okay, and now let's put it into the baggie. Ready? I'm putting the paper towel in the bag, and I'm closing it. Oh crap, oh crap, crap. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's fizzing. It's getting big, it's getting big. So that kind of experiment kind of failed. Um, that's what it looks 
looks like nothing's really happening. I'm gonna try it again. We can do this, guys. Let's get to the bed and lift that baby up. This is really sad, guys. Oh, it just popped. Oh, it just popped. DIY works, but it's lame. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool, but pretty ratchet, but not that cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this series of DIY with Shelly. I'm gonna start more of these. Send me your next Pinterest ideas with the hashtag DIY with Shelly on like Instagram or Twitter and tag me it and then I'll see if I wanna do it and I might be in my next DIY with Shelly series video. And thank you guys all so much and thank you guys all so much for 4,000 subscribers. Like that's insane. We're almost halfway to 10,000. See Shelly's like, I don't even understand. This week's Shelly Shot winner is two. I'll have their name right here and congratulations you are this week's Shelly shoutout winner and this week's Shelly shoutout question is if you have tried out a science experiment or like any Pinterest DIY what experiment did you try and did it work or not comment down below and tell me and I would love to know and whoever comments down below first will be part of next week's Shelly shoutout winner I love you guys all so much and I'll see you guys in the next week's video bye guys and I can't even reach the camera from here but see ya bye.